Hey guys, how many of you have had the experience of shopping online for underwear? I'm going to tell you about my experience with this company. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming back at you with many more videos with greater frequency. All right, guys, so give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, I'm glad you're here with me for the unveiling of my brand new packs of undies. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm so damn excited, guys. So anyway, this came with a story, I gotta tell you. First of all, if any of you have had the experience of shopping online for underwear, I want you to leave me a comment for sure on the bottom of this video. Um, I'm gonna, I'm planning to do some giveaways and things of that nature, but I'm trying to grow my channel first, okay? So I'm gonna try to get something in pretty soon and also be expecting some uh, YouTube live videos from me too. I'm thinking about considering the idea of doing every other week, like twice a month. So if you like that idea, please tell me on comments, okay guys? Now you do need to be subscribed to your uh, Gmail account in order to subscribe to a YouTube video, okay guys? So when you see it on the on the devices, you have to scroll all the way down. Like when you see my video, scroll all the way down and that's when the area opens up for you to be able to leave a comment. But you've gotta be signed into your Gmail account in order for that to happen. All right, so it's a little complicated. It's, that's YouTube, that's Gmail, that's the marriage. What can I tell you? All right, so anyway, back to the video. Um, I just got this today, guys, okay? And it's from that company right there. Now, when companies start to pay me for endorsing them, then I may say their names out loud, right? Um, I'm gonna say the name out loud anyway. It's called Fresh Pair. So, I did a little shopping online. Actually, you know how I got this, guys, is I actually got a gift certificate from one of my clients, my former clients, actually. Um, and it was very, very sweet. And the experience that I had, guys, was that I tried to redeem the, 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 the gift certificate uh, within the first three months and immediately I noticed that my gift certificate was like invalid. So I entered the code that I got in the email and it said, it said invalid. So that and on top of the fact that when I did actually, I see I just opened the package. When I did actually go online to look, everything kept coming out like you know, they had like these super ginormous sizes, like triple, triple and quadruple extra large, you know. Hold on. So none of the underwear that I liked were available. I was like, oh man, what a dragola, right? So anyway, I told my friend this. And so it was kind of disappointing. But I didn't tell him that I also was trying to, that about the invalid code, right? So then fast forward a year later, so here I am. And I said, you know what, I'm so sorry, I haven't done it. But I finally got around to it, and it happened again. Now, they said for the first time purchase, you get 15% off. So I thought it was a great idea. And, um, you know, overall, I really liked the site. You could, you could navigate the site, you could pick the brand, you know, you could pick from uh, Jack Adams or PPU or Calvin Klein or Pump, all these different brands. And, or you could lump them all together. So I, you know, kind of, I knew that PPU was a brand that I liked, for instance, and I decided, hey, let me check with that one, right? So I, I went for that one, and it narrows it down for you, so then you could, and also the important thing when you're trying to shop online for these things, guys, is always check the size chart, and be real about it, um, because I made a mistake in stores, actually, where I go and I buy underwear thinking I'm a small, because my pants say 30, and uh, in the stores, the underwears uh, for mediums tend to be around 32 waist, and I was like, okay, I'm not, but the pants tend to be a little bit different in size, I find. I think in the U.S., they don't want people to feel like they're really, and actually, I've heard this being said on TV talk shows and stuff, that um, because obesity is so big, they've actually sort of monitored them a little bit, so you might be like a 32, but they have labeled them a little differently, like a little lower, like 30 or 31 just to make few people feel less fat. Anyway, that's another story. But, um, so anyway, I've made a lot of mistakes. And I, just the other day, I gave somebody like tw a dozen pair of underwear that I never wore because they were always too tight. Those tiny little bikinis. 
My 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 biggest qualm is you know they're just tightening up all the junk. They push it down. It's too tight. I like my my package to kind of free flow a little bit with me you know um, i like to feel my manhood if you know what i mean guys right so anyway um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create another video another day where i get to show off some of these with you guys i'm really super excited about doing it and um right now i wanted to talk about my experience so there i go i go ahead and i i then decide okay i'm gonna call them so i call them and the girl tells me, oh, it came from a third party source. Number one, the client told me he went directly out to the website himself and he ordered it, created a gift card. So that was bogus. And first I did a little research. Legally, they are legally bound to not have expiration dates. At the very least, they said five years. And the email that I had from direct from Fresh Pair said that the expiration date was 2020 and the date that I got the product was in 2016. So, you know, there was no reason for this woman to tell me that it was from a third party source, right? That was like strike one against Fresh Pair, their customer service. And then I, I, she said she kept putting me on hold. So I was there. I don't care if I'm there 15 minutes, whatever. She put me on hold. Everything was fine. Then she says, okay. So I told her that it said 2020 and I had sent them an email just before I made the call. And so she looked it up. I gave her the order number, the, um, uh, whatever they, you know, how they refer to the, uh, it was an order number, some type of, uh, uh, in, uh, whatever the emails give you a number I forget it's an invoice or whatever so anyway um, I go ahead and I tell her this and she looks it up she says okay that's when she came up with the third party thing I'm like how can you tell me that you know you number one you're sending somebody you're encouraging gift cards and then you make it difficult for the person receiving the gift card to redeem the gift card that sounds bogus to me and so right away it was distasteful so those were two strikes. The number one strike is that the code doesn't work. The number two strikes is now you're telling me that it's a third party code. Uh, number three strike is that you can't do anything about it, that I have to call someone else. So what's up with that? I have to call someone else? I'm calling Fresh Pair. You're the company listed on the email. It says if you have a problem with this order, call Fresh Pair. And it gives the number which I called. Now they're sending me to someone else. So talk about making it difficult, that's not cool. Um, they never talked about expiration dates, but if it's not working, it says invalid, what's that about, right? So that's where it gets a little unfair to the consumer, so I wanted to alert, alert you guys to that, but I also wanted to tell you guys not to give up. Because she said to me, at, by the end of the conversation, she said, okay, sir, no problem, we're, gonna, we're taking care of it. It's all taken care of, she said, she assured me, guaranteed me I would get a call within 24 hours to with a new gift card number and that I could act that would be activated and that I could redeem. So the next day I get an email, I guess it was backtrack from the original customer service email that I sent just before I made the actual phone call because I don't like to wait on these things and I suggest you not wait either. So uh, the email said, sorry sir, but it looks like uh, we that name that you gave us we cannot find the listing in our files anywhere. Wow, I was super pissed now. So I told them straight out, exaggerated a little bit, but I do have 8,500 followers on Twitter. I told them that I had over 15,000 followers on social media. You know, truth be told, I have 8,500 on Twitter. I have 3,500 on one of my Facebook accounts. I have another 600 on another Facebook account. I have a group with uh, 1,500 members. So 85, 15, that's 10,000. You're already entering into the um, 13,000. So I was estimating pretty, pretty well, pretty damn close there. And I, but I did tell them I'm very active on social media. And I said, the last thing that you want to do is turn somebody off like this when they're trying to make a purchase, which you're actually encouraging. And I said, that's a bad use of advertising, ex very expensive advertising dollars. And instead of creating a pleasant experience, or you're telling me creating an aggravating experience, and you're telling me that my product, which was purchased directly from your site, is not original. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I actually put those words onto an email. I make them short and sweet and concise. I would show it to you, but that's no sense. Anyway, that email then got followed up on 
the next day, I think maybe it was a couple hours later, I actually had a new email with a reactivation code, the coupon, and I went ahead, engaged it. I got the 15% off for the first time purchase, which was awesome. I bought one, they, one of these was a two for one. They were having a clearance of 50% off, so I'm so excited. I ended up uh, paying like 100, only $2 out of my pocket. It was $132.99. It got reduced to $100 basically. So long story short, it was all very, very, very exciting. And I'm gonna pull one of these out guys because I'm so excited. And I know this video is running a little long, but I wanted to share that with you guys and check this out guys. Now these, I'm gonna say for another video that I'll do for you guys, I love these. I gotta tell you guys, these are probably one of my favorite brands right now. Um, well, actually, PPU was my favorite, favorite brand. Why? Because the, the strap on the jock strap was always kind of like not too hard. I find that some of the jock straps tend to be like very short and they squeeze into the buns and they just kind of make it look like, you know, it's all flappy. So not exciting for me. And um, I have, you know, a nice uh, cheeky buns, right? So I like the jock strap to sit nicely and not sort of strangle them, right? And this has a nice jock, a nice strap, see? It's snug, but it's not super, super tight. Some of them are just too constricting and, uh, you know, so anyway, this is the PPU right there, which I love, 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 love. I think it's my third pair, but the other two pair are really super like wasted already. <laughs> it's an orange pair, I have a black pair, and now this is like a white and black pair. So anyway, guys, um, I'll be coming back to you with more videos like these, and if you're excited about, about me trying these on, leave me a comment, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Coming back at you with more frequency. I'm aiming for three times a week. Okay, guys? Thanks for being a part of my channel. Bye.